Thor here, and I wanted to show you a place called Hole in the Rock. To be clear, there are several places in the world called Hole in the Rock. This one is often referred to as Hole in the Rock Glen Canyon or Hole in the Rock Lake Powell. This spot was used by the Mormons in 1879. A thousand cattle, 250 people, and 83 wagons made the journey through the small gap down a steep decline of about 2,000 feet and crossed the river. It was supposed to be a shortcut, but ended up taking the whole winter to achieve. Upon entering this spot, you will be greeted with a massive sand dome beach, a perfect place to bring cruisers and houseboats. There are no major or severe navigation hazards in the area, however it should be noted that a few years ago a pontoon boat capsized here. Sadly I do not have the details to if it was operator error or weather related. Water and landing conditions were great. The sand here is the same famous sand Lake Powell is known for. No need for shoes on this beach. The flora here is spectacular. Grass and small shrubs appear to be in plenty here. A little further up the canyon was a very scenic spot with a dead tree and a small wash. A great photo opportunity. The nearby terrain was mostly sandstone rocks and small overhangs. This would be a great place to bring a hiking enthusiast who also wants to relax on the beach. It is truly a wonder that so many people made their way through this spot, almost unimaginable. The spirit of exploration and fortitude is strong here. When I was here I could not help but admire the steadfast will of the people who ventured through this place so long ago. This place is also a great midway point between several other wonderful and breathtaking places, so if you're looking for a spot up lake that might suit you, this could be it. So without taking any more of your time, this is Thor, signing out.